All right, here's our video today. Mutations in DNA. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Let's write that down. Deoxy, so what should we use? Let's use yellow. So DNA is deoxy, and I'll explain all of this. Deoxy, ribo, nucleic, and acid. Deoxy, ribonucleic acid. And there's also RNA, right? There's RNA, and that's ribonucleic acid, missing the deoxy. I'll explain that in the video. So anyway, we have these mutations, and everyone, everyone has mutations in them. And for the most part, they're rare, and they don't do us any harm. But there could be people who have mutations that could harm them. And there's actually some that could be even be beneficial like tetrachromatic vision, for example. That's when you're seeing more colors than anyone else. We'll talk about that in this video also. But first, let's just break down DNA. Let's make sure we understand a little bit about it. Deoxy, that word deoxy means missing an oxygen. And I'll show a picture and I'll tell you what that means. Just missing an oxygen. When you see the picture, you'll understand it. And then we have ribo. Ribos means having five. And the picture will explain that also. Now, nucleic acid, these are those nucleotide bases, these, these, these building blocks. So over here, we'll put a little arrow. We'll say these building blocks. And we have adenine, which we'll just use as an A. Let's put one over here. We have thymine, which is T. We have guanine, and they're not in any order here. I'm just writing them out. And then we have cytosine. Now, there's another one, uracil, that RNA uses, not DNA. So we'll just put uracil over here, and we'll explain it. So those are the building blocks. And that's deoxyribonucleic acid. So let me show you a picture of what I mean by missing an oxygen and having five. So if you need to write this down, write it down, pause the tape. All right, so here on one side you see ribose, which is, let's make sure we have our pen going. Let's use red this time. So over here we have RNA. Over here we have DNA. So you can see in DNA it has deoxy over here and it's missing an oxygen right there but in rna in ribose it has that oxygen and the ribose itself it means having five and you see these these yellow maybe it'll come out clearer see these points these vertices there's one two three four five like a pentagon right so we have a pentagon here having five that is the ribose and the nucleic acid is those building blocks, right? Those nucleotides that I mentioned. So let's look at a picture of this double helix. That's DNA. All right. So let's, for example, say that here's adenine. Well, we're going back to our pentagon. Let's go back. Hold on. All right. There it is. Let's say over here was um, adenine, right? That's a nucleotide base. And it's going to bond with thymine always bonds with thymine. A always bonds with T in DNA, not in RNA. That's where uracil comes in. So we have, let's just put a few in here. We have guanine, maybe another guanine. Who knows, maybe three. Right? And maybe a C here, a T here, another T and an A. So G, guanine, will always bond with cytosine in DNA. And cytosine will always bond with guanine. And thymine will bond with adenine in DNA. So see if you can fill the rest out. And they're bonded by, they have a hydrogen bond here that bonds them together. So what you put for G? Well, we already did it, right? We have C, another C, and cytosine will bond with guanine. Thymine will bond with adenine. So we'll put another A there. And adenine will bond with thymine. So we have that bond here. Now, when, when 
RNA comes into the picture. So we have this RNA, let's say RNA comes in here, and it's going to transcribe. So this transcribe the DNA. And I'm not going to get into transcription. I have other videos on that. But there's transcription and there's translation. But when when RNA comes in, it's going to take the adenine and it's not going to make thymine. It's going to make uracil. But the rest stays the same. So that'll become a C, a C, a C. Right? And let's say RNA is over here and that'll become a G. That'll become Now thymine will become adenine, but adenine will become uracil. So just remember that. So when this is happening during transcription, you can have mutations. You can have an error. And there's three types we'll talk about. So let's look at those three types. All right, we can have insertion, deletion, and substitution. So let's make something up here. Let's make something. Oh, and by the way, you know, these nucleotide bases, they make the amino acids, they make the proteins, they make you. Right there, they're the, the building blocks for you. All right, so let's just say we had a code up here. It's basically what it is. And we're going to talk about that too. There's another type of mutation we'll talk about in a minute. So we'll, we'll come back to that page. All right, so let's just make a code now. So let's say we had T A C, just maybe T G A. Who knows? I'll just put a few up here so you get the gist of this. We'll do that right and let's say rna went through and it's going to code this member thymine will become adenine and adenine will not become thymine in rna only in dna so this will be a u this will be a g what do you think about the rest right, a here c u not t g a u c g u all right so in this case, there was no mutation. But let's say, we'll use another color, we'll use red. Let's say instead of using cytosine guanine, that it, it made adenine. So we have a problem here. This is a mutation right there. It's a substitution. This is a substitution. You're substituting guanine with adenine. There's a mutation. There's the first one. So let's look at another one. All right, let's say that over here you had two more added. What do you think that would be? That's an insertion. So over here is another mutation. It's an insertion. It's common sense, right? What do you think a deletion would be? Let's make another one. Let's clear this out. Let's make another one. Use green. See how green looks. Let's say we had a T. We had A, we had T, and T, and G, and G, and C, C, G. Let's see that we had those. And we're going to transcribe this with RNA. And we want to find a deletion now. So over here, right, They, we have A, and we have U. We have A. We have A, and C, and C. We have G. G, but nothing happened here. Nothing. That's a deletion. All right, so we, we covered all three of the mutations. Now, there's another one I showed you before with chromosomes. Let's look at that one. Oh, and before I forget, let's write this in too. A deletion and an insertion, these two itself are also called a frame shift. Write that down. They're also called a frame shift mutation. All right, so let's look at the chromosome mutation. So on the chromosomes, this is called translocation. It's another mutation for the chromosomes. We'll put it up here. Translocation. Now look at the picture. You probably can figure it out. So in translocation, I'll change the color to red. Parts of the chromosomes, they break apart and they switch. You see the A was over here. Now the A is over here. So that's translocation. So that is, again, another type of mutation. 
Now, I said before that some mutations can be beneficial, and that's how natural selection would work. But for example, with insertion, you can get tetra tetrachromatic vision, which I talked about. And with tetrachromatic vision, you could see different shades of colors that no one else could see. So, for example, if you were in the forest and a deer was camouflaging itself, you would probably pick it out because you can see different shades of many different types of colors. So that can be a benefit. Other benefits could be malaria resistance or increased bone density. And tetrachromatic vision is an insertion. So that's a type of mutation that has a insertion. So just to review, there's three types, insertion, deletion, substitution. There's also a chromosomal mutation that we talked about, translocation. And for the most part, we all have mutations, even though they're rare. We do have them. We have at least 100 to 200 mutations in us. Sometimes they do nothing. They're just there. Sometimes they can be beneficial, and sometimes they could be harmful. So that's our video today.